in the trenches with Ryan Roxy. The truth is we do hang out when it's uh, when it's tour time, but yeah. nowadays uh, we'll be hanging out online. Maybe and we talk course. all the time too. We're always FaceTime and stuff like that. Um, Cause we're always just talking to each other. That's what we do. You know what I mean? How about communicate. that? Yeah, we're, communicate. We're, we're two guitar players, actually three guitar players that yeah. communicate. Me, you, and Nita have pretty good communication on stage and off stage, I'd say. Yeah. I have such good communication that I'm wearing a certain shirt in honor <laughs> of Tommy because Tommy gave me this shirt. I love this shirt. I, I think he gave it to me on the last Australian tour. I've been wearing it every single day, right? You know what, man? I, I, I like giving stuff away, you know what I mean? Because people give us a lot of gifts a lot, a lot, a lot of the time, you know what I mean? We'll get like stuff and it's very surprising where you're like, whoa. Um, I don't know where Ryan just went. But, no, it's uh, all right. Good. I can still hear you. Um, it's actually kind of cool because you get these gifts from so many people. That's just really so sweet. And, and they make stuff for you. And it's, it's, it actually amazes me that they took the time to do that. So I always like giving stuff away too, whether it's a bracelet, not, not like re-gift or whatever, you know, uh, but I don't know. I just like giving stuff away. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, I want to welcome everyone to the live stream of In the Trenches with the Ryan Roxy podcast. Uh, we have our guest, Tommy Hendrickson today from the Alice Cooper band. He's not only from the Alice Cooper band, he's from the Hollywood vampire. You are a true Hollywood vampire, wouldn't you say? Uh, you, yes. You are yeah. a full member of, a, of I, the band. I, I am, but some people don't recognize that, but um, <laughs> I it's do. fine. I definitely um, do. You're from New York, you're from via Switzerland, but then the boss introduces you from being every single town that we're on every single day. You know, whatever, whatever town we're playing, you're from that town. How does that come about? Honestly, I don't know. You got like, that's one of those Cooper things where it's like one night he was just like, I think he did it with someone else and they didn't like it. And they were like, <laughs> I don't want to be from that town. Am I from? That sounds like a Glenn thing. <laughs> that sounds like I don't a... want... I'm not from that town. So then Cooper did it with me and I was like, dude, you can call me from any town you want. Just call me. You I'm know? from Thousand Oaks. Make sure you get it right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be from, I don't care, we keep Waukegan, uh, with Saskatoon, what are, what are that place yeah. we play in Canada? Yeah. Uh, what was Saskatchewan, some place in, whatever yeah. the hell Well, is. Saskatoon is a place in Canada yeah. that we were supposed to play this next month. Um, I know. Obviously, we're all on lockdown here because of uh, COVID-19. Sounds like some sort of emo band, but uh, it's put us in sort of self-quarantine or everybody like from all over the place. I know that there, we have some listeners from uh, Italy watching, so our hearts are out with you, but you know what? We're all in this one together and we are going to get through it together. Yeah. Part of it is going to be, you know, through the power of our rock and roll guitars. You know? I was asked to play that uh, riff. Ooh. Yes, the there Kinks. That's one of our favorite Girl. bands. <laughs> yep. And it's just, it's been really like, you know, we were just, me and you, we were in Singapore, dude. That yeah. was like, when we, I was like, what the hell's going on? This, this, we this knew was something early was up. It was early. Yep. Well, that's the thing. We were the two guys that when we yep. first started that Australian tour that wore the masks and everybody was making fun. Yeah. The, you know, and, and, and now I kind of look back at it like, well, you know. Did it do any good? Did it not do any good? Are we all going to, you know, eventually end up catching it to some degree? But, you know, hey, that's current stuff. That's what we're going through right now. But the reason why I'm here today is because I won't, did a little digging on you. And that's the reason why for the podcast, because there's some people listening that might not know everything that I found out about you this last uh, couple of days of just going down the rabbit hole. You okay. Know, I chose I chose a different rabbit hole of the internet to go down. This was the Tommy Hendrickson rabbit hole, which is probably a better decision for me. <laughs> we'll get you in any trouble. Oh yeah. No one keep me out of trouble. But yeah. uh obviously I said you're from New York. You grew up in New York and uh you actually grew up not a guitarist, which maybe some of our listeners might be shocked. You yeah. started on no. bass guitar. Yeah, I was bass player originally for my whole life until I joined Alice Cooper. When Alice uh, said to me in the studio, uh, you play guitar? And I was like, yeah. Sure I do. <laughs> <laughs> so I just learned it, you know what I mean? And uh, that was it. So I just figured I'd just be a guitar player, you know? So uh, even before I got back into the band, I think this was about 2011, 
Um, I got back in 2012. I, you guys came to Sweden. Um, I interviewed, I think it was Damon or Chuck and stuff. And then you yeah. were in the hotel. I just remember you having the guitar in your hand and always practicing. And since that day, up until, you know, a couple of weeks ago, you're the guy that spends that extra time learning the instrument. And I'm, you know, I'm proud of you, man. You, you've become, nice. uh, you know, very, very few people can learn a brand new instrument. It's not so much brand new because you played bass and you're a good bass player all, all these years, but you definitely have taken on the guitar and really mastered it this last, you know, you're our, you're our foundation. You're our, you're our rock, man. Dude, that's really sweet. And I appreciate that. It's really nice. Um, honestly, it's like, I just love music and I love guitar and I love equipment. I could look at road cases and like, go. Those road cases look cool. You know what I mean? Like amplifiers, even though we don't have any amps anymore. Um, but just guitars in general, I just love the way they look because they're sexy and they're, they're, they're cool looking and they got attitude. Well, know? I did notice on this last tour, we can talk about because it's still current events before I go way deep in your down your yeah. past. Uh, you just had to cut short a Rock Meets Classic tour which is kind of a bummer, right? You guys were in the middle of Germany halfway through the tour. It was Alice Cooper, Tommy Hendrickson, and a 50-piece orchestra with, you know, Robin Zander was there as well. But I saw you with one of the coolest looking SGs. Did you bring that out on the road? Is that a new one? No, I've had that for the longest time. Um, I took it off the road because I had it signed by everyone. When we did the Motley Crue tour, I had them sign all the vampires, the original... Uh, Alice Cooper group and uh, Robin Zanda actually signed to Rick Nielsen. And nice. um, so I was like, let me take it off because it's going to be for Finn. It'd be one of those things. So I had no guitars. Finn so I was like, is, is Tommy's son. And Finn is basically going to have the biggest guitar collection by the time he turns, <laughs> you know, right, well, he has imagine, it already, man. But imagine being Rick Nielsen's kid. Yeah, that's that's a guitar collection. No, you know is, what I mean? Is. At least Finn, will, he'll have some guitars to choose from, you know, but I, that guitar, dude, that guitar always was cool. But the Rock Meets Classic thing, we just started getting into a groove because we got there, the arrangements were a little different. There was a song in a different key that we normally play it in. We had to relearn that. Coop's like, I'll do it. And, and they, re, they wrote all the charts out. So I looked at Coop. I was like, we got to redo it. So me and Coop, we learned it, relearned it. And then we had to relearn the, the arrangements. And then by the third gig, I was like, wow, this sounds really good. And all of a sudden, the fourth gig, I was like, this sounds amazing. <laughs> and then the Swiss Miss called me up, and she's like, uh, don't get too comfortable out there. You're about to come home. And I was like, uh, come on. The Swiss Miss knows. And for those of you that don't know who the Swiss Miss is, that is Tommy's wife, who's from Switzerland. And, uh, yeah, she knew about – she seems to know about things before we do. I'm Ryan Roxy, and I've taken all my years of experience of playing guitar, and I want to pass the torch of rock and roll on to you. Check out the System 12 Guitar Method. Hello, folks. Roxy here. Thanks for watching the video. And if you liked it, hit the subscribe button or one of the videos around me to watch more. If you'd like to, please leave a comment. If you didn't like the video, maybe you'll forget how to type. Thanks. Yeah.